Hello everyone, I welcome all of you to my channel. So this is the continuation of the video on voids. You understand that in the last video, rather last two videos, I have tried my best to make you people understand about what are voids. I use the ball models uh, and maybe in the recent future I will be using some great models except that ball model to make you people understand about the voids more and more into that. Uh, well, so you must be uh, thinking that why I'm using a Rubik's cube in my hand. So this is to make you people understand about the void, which is called the tetrahedral void. My point of view is, as you understand that our point of discussion becomes the CCP, that is the FCC structure, cubic close packing or face center cubic structure. So suppose this one is like the FCC. So you have to understand a little bit here as it is a multicolor Rubik's cube as you understand. So suppose this red one, the red zone, as you can see the red zone, I am tapping it with my fingertip. So this one, well, so this is the corner atom. So you must understand that this is the one by eight sharing. Please immerse in properly. So this is one by eight, okay. So I am holding this with my fingertip. So this is the reference, don't forget that, clear. Now, with this corner my dear students how many faces are actually attached so please understand i am talking about within a cube i am not saying any adjacent cube with this one i am saying within the cube that means this red one has a face which is this one i believe all of you can see this so this is one face what is the another face i am just giving it a tilt i am tilting it please try to understand this is another face. This is also in touch with this face. Is it clear? So this corner. I am not devious. I am not deviating my fingertip from here. So I am keeping it at a constant point. So this is the first face. This is the second face. And now I am turning it. So this is the third face. Is it clear? So this is one face. This is two face. This is three face. So three faces are there. One. I am tapping it. Please understand. One. Two and three clear so now this one if this is the face okay you for for just making people understand you can understand that this face has nothing to do with this red one this face i mean that one which you can see it has nothing to do with this red one why because it is not in any correlation with this cube at this particular moment it has no contribution to build this rather the vice versa it has no contribution to build this clear so you now understand that this one is in direct contact with this face this face and this face okay so i am again holding this here now this yellow one take it as an example this is the face center atom so face center atom means as it is a solid one okay it is not a hollow so again you have to use your imagination power if this yellow you forget about all those things you understand only that there is a face center ball okay so this ball as i have told you this ball has what kind of shape this is the hemisphere actually this is the face of the hemisphere don't take it as a square take it as a circle this portion is a laminal circle over here it's a laminal circle okay and that circle that means the upper surface of the hemisphere and that hemisphere taking its curvature like this taking its curvature like this so where the curvature is going the curvature is going inside of this so see this yellow one this curvature which is going inside this like this well this face this face that is this yellow one it is also giving its inside curvature here so what you understand that this yellow curvature down and this yellow curvature like this understand like this this will be like this this will be like this and this will be like this i mean better to better to make you understand like this this is the face and this is the curvature okay so this one this one again understand this is the corner atom this curvature going down this curvature going inside and what is the one more curvature that is this green ball green ball i am saying ball because this is also a hemisphere which is going inside so you understand that this red ball is like corner this is like the corner okay this yellow down this yellow inside 
and this green also inside so there are how many balls four balls that means every corner is in direct contact with three face center balls within the cube this red corner is in direct contact with one face center ball two face center ball and three face center ball within the cube i'm repeating one by one one within the cube you can take the adjacent cubes but that is not required here so this one and this one and this one and this one they are making actually a regular tetrahedron so inside if if this was a hollow then you, i could have show you that i could have shown you that this one this one this one and this green one they are meeting trying to meet at a point so definitely at their meeting point there will be a void and that void that void is called tetrahedral void because we know for the tetrahedral void the coordination number is equals to four so from this red ball from this red ball inside if i go vertically opposite that is at this point please understand from this red i am going inside and vertically here so it is the body diagonal this is the body diagonal my dear students so definitely on this body diagonal if the total body diagonal is root 3a it is root 3a that you understand so from here at root 3a by 4 one fourth of the body diagonal the first tetrahedral void is created again from here if you say inside so this is the corner if this is the corner so what are the face centers this is the face center this is the face center and this is the face center i hope this is very very much clear now so this one is also going to make a tetrahedral void along this body diagonal which body diagonal green here and the red one that is the body diagonal clear so definitely that is going to make what again a tetrahedral void at which distance root 3a by 4 from here root 3a by 4 from here that means in a body diagonal how many tetrahedral voids are produced two okay from one corner root 3a by 4 from another corner root 3a by 4 so the di distance between the two tetrahedral voids will be root 3a by 2 so how many body diagonals are there within the cube whether face center or whether anyone i'm saying within the cube it is four body diagonals so every body diagonal give you two tetrahedral voids so four body diagonals will be giving you eight tetrahedral voids my dear so in ccp how many number of atoms are there i mean for an example you take nacl so nacl is having how many chloride chloride ions which are forming the lattice forming the lattice i have already discussed in my last videos as also in the live classes so there are four chlorine atoms so four chlorine atoms already we have seen that there are four octahedral voids are produced where na plus ions are present and remember eight tetrahedral holes are also produced why four uh, sorry why eight because four body diagonal every body diagonal two within a body diagonal from one corner it is root 3a by 4 from another corner it is root 3a by 4 so in between two body uh, so in between two tetrahedral void the distance will be root 3a by 2 clear so eight tetrahedral void this is why my dear students it is said that if number of atoms is equals to x tetrahedral voids will be 2x octahedral voids will be x I do believe that you have understood the concept and if not then definitely put some comments I will try to make some more videos on this and I believe that my effort will be giving you some encouragement you also do encourage me like share and subscribe my channel and definitely comment I will definitely value your valuable comments thank you very much